Alright, hi you guys, uh, this video is going to be completely talking, and if it doesn't relate to you anyways, you probably won't be watching it. So, um, if it if you don't like completely talking videos of me pointing my camera at my computer, then you can end the video now. So, um, I recently found a site from my friend about hacking things. And the moron I was, I downloaded a program called RAT to infect with my other computer and, like, fuck with it and things. And then I was going to send it to a kid who wanted it, who wanted to learn how to hack stuff. So, he was going to get infected, I was going to fuck with his shit a little bit, and then put it away. Unfortunately, it contained a huge amount of Trojans and it completely almost destroyed my computer. Now, I did figure out how to get past it, and that's why I wanted to share with you, because I couldn't find anything on it. All he said was basically, well, you're a dumbass and you're fucked. I got no help from him and had to do it all by myself. So, the program you're going to need to remove this is called Malwarebytes. It's probably the best virus software out there. Um, I recommend installing a vast... And that in the same computer while you're running it. And any other programs for viruses that you have installed, keep them running at their full power while you have it on your computer to keep it from spreading. Because this one will spread very, very, very quickly. Over a week's time or so, I was from around three infected processes up to around 42 until I got rid of it so just to tell you you're not going to get rid of this at all with your computer in regular you will have to go to safe mode to get rid of this and you will need the full ver you uh, may need the full version of malware bytes there's a way to get it I'm not going to tell you because it's illegal but yeah um that's, there's a way. So, um, what you gotta do is you gotta boot up into safe mode. Safe mode with networking, whatever you want. It doesn't matter. I would choose no networking if the rat is the one that you're doing and someone has you infected and they're fucking with your stuff. Because then the networking will get on there and then they'll get on and, you, yeah. So don't do it. Uh, so the next step after that is on safe mode, open up your vast and malware bytes or whatever stuff you have and just start hitting it as hard as you can with the full scans and the, or you want to start out on malware bytes with the memory scan and it will show you how many things that you have currently infected. Now you want to clear all those and don't, it'll say reboot your computer, don't reboot it. Because that'll just make them pop right back up again. And that'll make it even worse. Including safe mode. And you do not want that to happen. So you're going to want to do that. And not reboot it for the moment. Then you want to go back. And do full scan. And at full scan. Um, do the full scan. It'll take about an hour or two. Depending on how much crap you got on your computer. Once you get the full scan done. Then your computer. Uh, should be pretty good. Go through with a vast or whatever and wipe up the stragglers. If there's anything left, do a whole bunch of different checks with different programs. Make sure you get it all and you should be in good shape. And then um, if there's any other viruses left over, figure out how to get rid of them. As of right now, uh, the only thing I have left on there is like a process doubler. Which I have no idea what it's called or anything. It doesn't even say. All of a sudden I just look on my thing and there's a ton of uh, everything. Everything I start doubles. And that's really, really, really annoying. It starts like the 32 and 64 bit and then it doubles those. So it's it's still not good. But my computer's a beast and can handle it. The last temperature check I checked on it, though, was like 154 Fahrenheit. Um, 
like 94 Celsius is what the computer said it was, but my little thermometer thing here, I aimed it over at the corner that was the hottest. Yeah, it was not pretty. I put my foot on it and it burned it, so. Yeah, I had to give it a break. And so I'm not doing it on the computer. So, yeah, just learn not to install viruses. But if you know you have a rat, which means a remote access Trojan or remote access tool or whatever the hell you want to call it, um, then if you know that that's what you have, then remove it with the way I told you. Um, there's pretty easy way to tell um, if you have one. If your computer is getting random error messages, your screen's flipping upside down, you don't have a start bar, you're getting messages saying, haha, you got hacked or something weird, something you know some little kid's probably messing with your shit, then that's probably a rat and they're messing with you and watching you. So that's what you want to look for um, on mine it also starts up a thing called explore.exe which sounds normal but there's two R's in it there's also a host with a zero so those are some things you want to look for as well those can also be different viruses so watch out so um, remember safe modes your key and that's just what you want to look for is something out of the ordinary or look for random letters and numbered uh, processes with links to app data or links to random file folders or documents or some weird place where your system files and folders would not normally be look for doubled processes look for something that's not working right. Look f on your computer. If your computer's running as slow as it can possibly run, check that. If your computer, you know it's been running faster, and all of a sudden, a couple of days, it just does that, then you got something. If your computer, when you go to the processes, and it says um, you, end a pro you try and end a process that doesn't look right, and it says shut down your shut you can only shut down your computer if you end the process you know you're fucked and you have to do my way so try that and if you know you're infected get it off as fast as possible the longer you restart your computer or leave it on the more it infects the faster it'll spread it spreads very fast just like a normal virus would in real life just like the swine flu or the bird flu or whatever the hell they called it. So, yeah. At least it's back to pretty much normal now. Now I just have to get rid of that one somehow, which I'll find out how. And then maybe I'll post that way too. But it's good now at least. At least I can actually go on and do things without the computer freezing on me. I can play games without walking into walls and falling into stuff. Which was really pissing me off. Uh, someone got me into Minecraft. I got on a server and was playing. So, I was just walking, had like a bunch of diamonds and things and fell into a pit of lava. Because I, I couldn't help but walk into it. I'm like, no, stop. And then all of a sudden I fell. I'm like, dang it. And even when I spawned, it was still mocking me and walking forward. And then it stopped. So, yeah, um, that's pretty much it. Watch out for that. And we'll see ya.